Good evening, everyone. Sky track shows that while we did have some sunshine earlier today, we're now seeing the cloud cover fill back in across the area. We're also seeing a lot of flurries show up on satellite radar. This activity stretches all the way up into Michigan. A little piece of energy diving across Illinois. That's going to keep those chances in place. But you'll notice off to the north, we're seeing some clear skies. So that'll be working in as we get into the later this evening. But for right now, we're still seeing those areas of some isolated snow showers in place. I don't know that all this moisture is making it to the surface, but be aware that you could see some snowflakes if you're headed out this evening. Currently, temperatures are in the 30s across the board. 35 in Champaign, 38 in Paris and Charleston, 37 down in Robinson. It's currently 33 in Danville. They are our cool spot. We actually made it into the 40s for many places earlier today, but it never felt like that because of this brisk west wind currently at 14 miles an hour in Champaign, Paris and in Charleston is going to remain with us. So that's dropping our wind chills down into the 20s in some spots. It's, it's feeling like 26 in Champaign feeling like 29 in both Paris and Terre Haute and Charleston. Our wind chill is currently at 30 degrees along with Robinson. But the better news is coming as we get into the week and we've got one more day well below average. Our average is all the way up to 46 for this time of year, so 35 for tomorrow. Then we quickly jump up to 44 on Saturday and look at Sunday. We're going to see those temperatures climbing into the upper 50s. I think some of our communities will make it into the 60s further off to the southwest. And once we get past Sunday, we're even seeing this warming trend remain in place. We're going to see our temperatures holding out in the 50s, so we're looking better as we get into the month of March. Now, as we look at future cast for the rest of this evening, it's not picking up on that area of snow showers that uh, satellite radar is showing, but I think we're going to see all this activity come to an end, especially once we get toward past the 10 o'clock hour. And we're going to see our skies clear across central Illinois. So that's some better news for us, but unfortunately it's coming at the wrong time because it's going to allow our temperatures to really plummet tonight. No, no clouds will keep the heat at the surface, so we're going to see cooler conditions for tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow, the cloud cover returns just as we start our day, and that will bring the chances of some isolated snow showers back to the forecast throughout much of our Friday, especially across our southeastern communities, anywhere from Decatur, Sullivan, Charleston, through Casey, anywhere there to the southwest. I think that's where we'll see the best chances for those isolated snow showers for tomorrow, but nothing in the way of accumulation like we saw on Wednesday. So as we look at our hometown highlight tonight, we're highlighting Cumberland County. We're expecting temperatures to be in the mid 30s for our day. We're expecting a high of 36 in Neoga, Toledo, Greenup and in Walla Walla. Again, those isolated snow showers around with a brisk west wind remaining in place, gusting up to 15 miles an hour. So future cast for tomorrow night shows that that activity is going to be clearing out of the area. We're going to see abundant sunshine as we get into Saturday. We've got a stationary front across Missouri, and like the name suggests, it's not going to move for much of the day on Saturday, but once we get into the evening, it's going to get kicked into motion, and it's going to start working its way towards central Illinois, and by doing so, that's what's going to bring our warmer conditions as we get into the day on Sunday. But unfortunately, it's going to be bringing some rain showers too, and with a cold front diving in from the northwest, it's going to be slowing down, and that's going to prolong our rain chances as we get into the start of next week. So here are our Monday afternoon seeing those rain showers ramp back up across the area. We could even see some isolated thunderstorms, especially in the southern part of the state. And those rain showers just linger with us into the start of next week. Before tonight, down to 23 degrees. Again, isolated snow showers early, then some clearing an overnight low of 23 degrees. As we break down your day tomorrow, another mostly cloudy day. With those isolated showers, especially across our southwest, temperatures topping out in the mid 30s. And as we look at the next seven days, that warming trend remains in place as we get through the start of next week. The rain showers keep our temperatures in the 50s. And unfortunately, it's not until Thursday that we start to see the weather start to dry out. Well, you're talking about 44 on Saturday. Are the winds going to be calm enough to where it's not going to feel like it did today? Yeah, with high pressure in place, it's going to be calmer winds. I'm still not happy with that snow, though. Hey, we've got to deal with it. <laughs> Thanks, Everett.